Hello everyone, welcome to Manmaker. I am Ranjit Kumar and today we are going to talk about BL Trainee Engineer exam that was happened on uh, 25th and 26th October for the postcode of TBZ and TEM. So I hope you all have checked your uh, answer response key and you have calculated your marks how much you are getting. So today we are going to see after this answer key response how much you can expect for this cut up and uh, when they are going to release the result that what is the selection criteria how they are going to select the people and what is the difference between qualifying marks and cut up marks everything we are going to discuss so this is for all the electronics mechanical electrical and computer all branch all right for pdf and more updates you can join our telegram channel and whatsapp group here i am updating class update notification pdf material job update you will get in these things now you can get any kind of uh, material study material if you are preparing for a job just download this uh, the manmaker app from the play store and just check if whatever exam you are preparing if that course is available there you can take from there okay so as uh, you know this exam happened and already we have discussed about uh, ah, okay so first we'll see this is the like uh, out of 85 total 85 marks was there for your exam so after this answer key you can expect your branch wise uh, and category wise your cut up will be after checking all the like i got so many messages and comment i i did poll and all so this response i got and based on that you can expect for your category general category it will goes 52 for electronics branch okay 52 and above you have got then your selection will be then OBC it will be 47 is a safe zone. EWS if you got 46 plus then it will be okay. SC 42 and above. For ST it will be 40 and above. Like that you will get the marks you can for electronics branch. Now for electronics uh, sorry uh, this is for electrical okay. This one is for electrical. Electrical branch. So for electrical engineer. You can expect your general category, it will be 50 plus above. OBC, it will be 48 plus above. EWS, it will be 46 plus above. SC, it will be 43 plus above. ST, it will be 41 plus above. Okay, this is for electrical engineer. Now for mechanical, it will be 55 and above for general category. And OBC, it will be 52 and above. EWS, 50 plus is good sc it will be 46 plus above st it should be 43 and above like that and now for computer branch for general category it will go 50 plus above is okay for general category obc 46 plus above if you got then it will be good for you ews 44 and above sc category 41 and above and st is 39 so this is the uh, expected cutup which I analyzed from uh, people who gave uh, marks there they have messaged me commented me and all so you can expect like that and cutup will go for training engineer like that only for the BL exam now the thing is you have seen your advertisement you uh, for qualification it will be for you uh, are and uh, OBC and EWS okay they have mentioned it would be 35 percent if you got then you will qualify in the cbt okay then for uh, sc st and pwbd they have mentioned around 30 percent and above okay so if you calculate this thing you will get 29 point uh, something like 70 percent uh, 29.75 marks then uh, this will be like this or uh, for uh, this it will be around uh, you are getting 25 something okay 25 point something you will get for if you are getting if you are crossing this marks then you are qualified for this this exam but for the selection of uh, this uh, like for the uh, if you want to come in selection list or merit list you need to get this cut up marks if you are crossing this marks then it will be okay now why they are taking this qualifying marks because for trainee engineer whenever they are taking either it is trainee engineer or project engineer as you know total 610 post is there in a total uh, including all the branch so the thing is they will release first list 
and second list also okay they will release the uh, result of first list and second list also and last time they have released third list also okay they have released third list of result also so the thing is in first list who will come that uh, who have scored like that marks they are going to select in the first list okay and after that after the joining of all this process like uh, you will get that uh, result that i told uh, in previously also i told the result they are going to publish in the like you can expect november end november end or december first week okay december first week they are going to publish these things the thing is they will take time at least minimum 40 days to do all the things process and they will publish the things so 25 26 october exam happened so you can expect your uh, result in november end or december first like that it will come after getting the selection list uh, like they will publish the list in a website after that they will give you 15 days or 15 to 20 days maximum 20 days they will uh, give you and they will uh, in the uh, in after 20 days or 15 days they will assign you one date in that you have to come with your all the document and uh, document verification round will be there like document verification you have to do after one week and after that after document verification within one week you have to join the company or within one week or two three days they will say to join the company okay like that things are there so who will got in the first list they will be uh, recently they will join and after this whole process if there is a availability of seats there is no fulfill of seats in the first round then they will publish second list after 30 days after one month so after january you will get one more list that is second list and where they will get that one those who have qualified though have got from ur category 30 30 marks and above and from here 25 and above so they are now they will select that people and from there they will choose in a second list so in the second list you can expect like from ur category 48 and above like that it will go like some marks difference only in ur category they will uh, check a uh, like whatever cut up they will decide in first list after that uh, minus 4 or 5 you can go so there have chance to come in a second list like that they will decide the thing okay so that's why this qualify and cut up is there for a different thing like in a first list they will choose according to cut up then they will keep these people who have qualify in the result they will keep in a pending mode when and they will publish after when when they will release this thing like when the six six ten will not fulfill fulfill then they will publish the second list and they will take these people who have in the qualifying list they will take that people and uh, then they will release again second list in second list also what they will do in first list and second list what the thing will happen as you know this is a temporary based job for two year or three year and now bl also have released provisionary engineer that is permanent job eat that is permanent basis hls is there that is also temporary but uh, kind of a good thing apart from this so like this and some people will go to some other PSU or some other job if they will get so the thing is after first or second also it will be vacant vacant means some people will join and they will leave the job within one month or two months like that if they will give some if they will get some good uh, good uh, like uh, any good uh, jobs and and also they will switch so in that case they will release third list and again they are going to select from this qualifying people okay so those who got less than this qualifying marks 30 for ur and obc and all and this 25 for scst and pwvd so those who got this marks so they are have a chance to get till third list in this okay so this third list they are rarely they will publish because in first and second only they will select to all okay so and sometime they will increase the vacancy also like they have published for 16 but according to their choice or their requirement they will increase this thing and they will take some more people okay like that things are there 
okay so i hope every doubt whatever doubt is there for you what i got messages and comments in the comment section so i hope i cleared everything what is selection criteria what is the result date when you are going to get and uh, this expected cut up everything i display you in this uh, video just uh, like you have seen before also i have published there people have commented and all about marks and all like that everything is there some people who don't uh, like still like you can comment below also your marks what how much you are get, getting like your branch and your uh, category and mark so people will see how much people have got maximum so that the, the thing is like that only still you have any kind of doubt in this trainee engineer post you can do comment i will make video less, uh, next on the onward till then if you have uh, if you are preparing for any other exam like probationary exam like bl probationary exam okay bl eat exam bl hls exam and bl recently they have uh, released for ns naval system and uh, one more department as a te only so if you are preparing anything you are preparing related to bl just go to app download the app if course is available check that one and classes are still going on in uh, youtube if you go in youtube lots of classes are there you can prepare with that also apart from bl i will publish some more psqs or more like where electronics is there i will do that one also uh, and in app you will get everything okay so just download this app you will get job update everything you will get here so the thing is just download you will get everything okay this much only and uh, this is uh, all about your the basic thing like this the main purpose purpose of making this video about cut up and the selection process and criteria i hope everything you clear right now about bl selection process and bl cut up bl result everything i discussed okay so that's all for today thank you Thank you. Uh, okay, thank you.